I had a dream that you were mine You lit the flame right over the line On my darkest day All right, this is my first time having the boat out by myself. I had a little problem backing out of the slip last time, but I just kind of watched the refresher videos and uh, man, I backed it out. It was a dream. It was the easiest thing I've ever done. You know, you kind of worry about things, but today was just flawless. So I have total confidence because uh, I haven't been sailing really for the last decade. Yeah, about 10 or 12 years. So I'm just getting back into it, but man, it's sure nice. And it's beautiful out here today. It's like 71 degrees here in Kima, Texas. I'm motoring uh, through the Kima boardwalk here. Not a lot of traffic today. It's uh, what is today? A Wednesday. I worked hard on Monday and Tuesday, so I could have today off. I'm gonna spend the night on the boat, and uh, I might even take tomorrow off. I'm not sure. But it's great to be out here. I'm gonna make a little run out to the channel, I think, and then maybe uh, go back to Clear Lake a bit. But uh, I'm loving it. I am loving my little Honda motor too. When I walk, when I walk, you would just the trace in my blood so from a crack sea just electricity when i woke up, when i woke up, you were just a trace in my blood i was sailing clear lake the other day and saw a couple dolphins i'd never seen them on the lake i see them out here on the bay a lot but um never seen them back on the lake like that so I'm always looking out for dolphins. I was just reading that the Galveston Bay Dolphin Research Program just cataloged its thousandth distinct bottlenose dolphin that calls Galveston Bay home. Like a balloon under the sea I rose up from pressure beneath Gloriously, uncontrolledly, with it all coming off of me. This is how I always do my self steering here the bungee cord and then the long, uh, small rope so I can go to the bow of the boat and uh, deploy the anchor and still be able to steer the boat. One time I was under sail of the main in the ICW and I'm on the bow of the boat with my feet dangling off the end and I catch a or I pass a uh, Coast Guard boat and they're looking at me like who is on the uh, helm sailing this boat they, they looked over the boat couldn't see anybody and I just kind of kept the rope real low where they couldn't see it they're like man they couldn't figure it out it's kind of funny. But great day out here, man. So a little steering system like that allows me to get out of the the wind. The wind picked up. It's uh it's not much. Uh, I see white caps, so it's 12 knots, I imagine. But uh, we'll just out for a motor, I guess. I'm not gonna mess with this sail. It's my first time out on this boat by myself. Just having fun. Make little adjustments like that.
my favorite spot on the boat to sit. I'm nice and warm with the cabin. Anything I want down here I can grab and I can still uh, steer the boat. So it works out pretty good for me. I'd like to thank the person who shared these pictures with me. I just love what this Compact 23 owner did building this little hard dodger dog house. It's exactly what I need. like to be down here underway very cool I love it there's nobody out here so I can just pop my head up every once in a while and look around we're doing four to five knots about 4.8 I'm glad I didn't get the bigger motor because uh, I reach haul speed really easy and quickly at fairly low RPM with that uh, five horse an eight would have been too much. It's kind of chilly. You know, when it's, it's probably about 71 degrees and uh, a little bit of a chill to the air. I love this system. I can just reach out, make a quick uh, course adjustment, and I'm done. out on the bay. I wish you were here with me. Oh, I wanna stay right here, right here, chilling with my friends for another year. I would walk away from the spotlight for the good light. I'm gonna take her off autopilot. Coming into the channel. some big things. I mean, it's been hauled out, topside painted, bottom job, mass taken down, new motor. Uh, what's next is electrical. I don't have any uh, lights on this boat wired up. They're ready to go. They just haven't been ran to the battery or switching. Um, and I got to hook up the VHF radio. I don't have any cushions yet. It's kind of bare bones right now, but I just got to be out here, man. What is it about being on the water that helps me gain perspective? Hey, highway, what do you say? If we took some time and wandered down your wildlands. Hey, highway, you know I 
I can't stay chilly uh but i wasn't ready to put the boat up so i thought i'd take like another hour and just run to the back of the lake here and now i'm heading back to port and probably go grab some dinner and uh get the boat ready to spend the night on it for the first time hey hi about redesigning this it takes up a lot of space with barely any useful storage what I don't get is the waste of space check this out all this space back here look at that that's that's a lot of room it could be used for something it's completely worthless so i'm thinking about taking this whole box down and somehow seeing if i can move it back towards the hole some more it's completely useless I mean, check it out. You got all this storage in this box, which you can't get to unless you reach your hand back in there. And you got this up here, which is a lot of space back here, but it's so skinny. What are you, what are you gonna fit back there? I don't get it. So, think about unbolting the whole thing and uh, pulling it down and uh, seeing if I can move it back towards the hull. Because when I sleep, I've slept in this boat two nights so far, just to kind of get a feel for it. And this is in the way big time so i might see if i can unbolt it and see if it comes down fairly easy all right i just dropped that piece down all it took was two bolts and one screw and man i'm gonna have a ton more room because you can see where i could paint up here this is all wasted space back there that's ridiculous so i'm wondering if i can just slide that piece further back to uh, the hole. And uh, so I'm gonna try that. I'm probably gonna drop them both down and try to move them back or I will eliminate them all together and rebuild something from scratch. Um, so we'll see, I might just do that. I mean, it's just a box. So much more room. My next project. And I'll design some storage that is only way up in there be so much more useful. How hard can it be? Great breeze. It was great. I don't 